but you guys have been together a long time. Like, what's the secret sauce? Oh, what's the secret sauce? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah? 100%. We wouldn't be together if it wasn't for Jesus. We are each other's polar opposite. Completely. What, like, what, what do you, how, how do you define polar opposite? Fire and ice. Like, he's the chillest, most consistent, steady, unbothered. I mean, he's, he's amazing, but he's so chill. And I'm, like, angry about everything, always. <laughs> you don't seem angry. Yeah, I hide it well. Yeah? I'm the Hulk. You know that scene in the Hulk where Bruce Banner's like, do you want to know my secret? I'm always angry. That's okay. me. I mean, he is pretty much always angry. Yeah. So, okay, Jesus holds you together. Is that like you guys both have amazing spiritual lives, like independently and, and together? Does that mean that you guys, uh, you know, are like going to church is helping you? Does that mean you, a devotional is helping you? Like, what exactly is it about, like, G I mean, because you said it, you're like fire and ice. Mm -hmm. So, like, I think it's a common denominator, okay. right? Like, I do, I do my, we both do our best, right? Like the hope is as a believer that you're looking at other people and seeing them the way that Jesus sees them. That radically changes all of your relationships. So, you know, that, that forces you to assume the best about somebody, that forces you to see their strengths instead of their weaknesses. That's Jesus. And then that's what our marriage is built on is we decided and, and I wish more people would get married because of this. Like, we decided we were more dangerous for the kingdom together than apart. That's a really good reason to get married. Mm. Um, I love that. I think that, he's, 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 like, Jesus is just, every, he really is everything. Like, he's the foundation. He's the reason. He's what we have in common. He's what we, why we do what we do outside of our marriage, outside of our home. Um... You know, even in the darkest seasons of our marriage, which there have been, like, it was Jesus that kept us together because we knew, like, I really believe, like, Jesus' heart is for the nuclear family. Like, Jesus' heart is for marriage. And honestly, what kept us together when things were really bad was the enemy would love that. Like, the enemy would love for these circumstances to pull us apart and for us to be a statistic, for us to be one more marriage that falls by the wayside, and Jesus is hardest for us to stay together. Mm -hmm. And so we did. And, like, there are obviously cave caveats to that, like abuse and, and all that kind of stuff that, like, Jesus hates. Jesus hates that stuff. You know, like, Jesus doesn't want you to stay with somebody that's abusive to honor marriage. Right. But I do think that a lot of the, a lot of the you know, Christians have just as high a divorce rate as non. Our divorce rate is exactly the same. I'm divorced. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's it's exactly the same. We are no different. And we hold the keys. Mm -hmm. We know the guy that created it. Why are we not better at this? Yeah. I got a lot of flack uh, in my marriage when... So my wife, uh, my ex-wife, uh, had an affair. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I was, like, trying everything to, like, fight through it mm -hmm. and, and make it work. Mm -hmm. And I was getting flack of, like, why are you staying, you know, in this... From uh, her? No, no. Just, oh, it's from uh, the from, outside. Yeah, from other people. Yeah. And, I, and I get that, you know, people looking your, out for me. that's flesh. That's flesh, being like, why are you fighting for this? Right. That's like your justice complex. Right? Like, I've seen God restore and flourish relationships that were impacted by affairs. If both parties wanted it to work. Right. Because then, holy hell, what a story. Like, look what God did. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, that's my God. That's my, my God. That's what my God does. You know, and so, like, I think that that's, I don't know. I just think that's such a fleshy, like, response. They're like, ugh. Like, she wronged you. You wronged her. Oh, find that Bible verse for me, please. No, and I get it. I get that sometimes it's irreparable. Like, sometimes it's so broken because of infidelity or because of a lack of faithfulness or because of whatever. And I don't fault people for that. Like, I don't want to sound like I'm up on this high horse, like, 
God loves marriage, so you should never get divorced. Like, I get it. We're human. The world is broken. But I just wonder if people, like, did fight for their marriage is more what it would look like. Hey, y'all, we hope you loved this conversation. Here at Young Married Christian, we are on a mission to see a gospel-centered home made available for every single child in the foster care system. There are 400,000 kids in the foster care system, and there are 400,000 churches in America. Wow, that is crazy. This is absolutely a solvable problem, and we want to be a part of it. If you want to join us in that mission, text the word FREEDOM to 833-370-1610. 833-370-1610. 833-370-1610. I just did it. And another thing you can do that is really helpful is to smash the like button on this video. Smash it like Satan's face. Crush it like it's Lucifer's head. It really helps us a ton. So smash that like button, subscribe to this channel. That's it. (laughs) Smash the like button on this video.